Hi. We will talk about optional class. But first, let's talk about null. As you know, in Java applications, we use null to identify that on that memory address, there is no object. I mean, no memory allocated for a real object instance. But in practice, null means that there is no object on that memory address and it also means that there is an object but it is just null. We, we just did not initialize it. That's why sometimes in our application we confuse if there is an object which its value is null or there is no object. This confusion causes so much exceptions. This exception is called null pointer exception. That's why before some statements we check if an object is null or not. Let's inspect this code. Here we have a person class and each person class has a car attribute and each car attribute has an insurance object inside. So we have a tree, an object tree, person is, is a top and intermediate object is car and the bottom one is insurance. Let's say we have a method that takes an person input and we will return the insurance name of the car that this person owns, okay? For such a simple case, we write a code like this. First, we need to check if the person is null or not. After that, we get the car and we check if car is null or not. After that, we check if uh, this car's insurance is null or not. So, just to take this insurance that get name value, we write these lines of course. All this boilerplate code is for preventing null pointer exception because in each step we may face a null value and this, this will cause null pointer exception. Null is mentioned as million dollar mistake because in every application, in every software, there are lots of null pointer exceptions regardless of the language. So it is not specific to Java. In every language, uh, we have a structure called as null, nil or something, okay? So we need to avoid null values. In functional programming, we avoid null by using another class, optional class. This optional class is used for avoiding null pointer exceptions and it basically stores that if this memory address has an object inside or not. So by using optional you check that if this memory address has an object or not. It may return no, I don't have an object inside or it may return yes, I have an object and take it. Why we need such a structure? Because in functional programming we chain the functions. We get the result of the first function and then without any check we use this value on the second function and then the third function and so on. If one of the functions return null as an output, null will be an input to the next function. In this case, this function may throw a null pointer exception. To avoid this, we use if present method of the optional class. We first check if there's an object inside the optional structure by if present and if an object presents there, we get this object by using the get method. That's why we wrap an existing data with an optional box and after that we may acquire this object by the get method. So as summary we may say that an optional is a box to check if there's an object inside or not. The other methods of optional is get or else. That means get the object if an object presents inside this box or else get this object from somewhere else. That's why this method gets an supplier. As you know, supplier creates an object according to your logic. The other method is is present, as I said, and the other is if present. If present is used with a consumer because we say that if an object presents inside this optional box, consume it with this consumer. Now let me do an example in Eclipse. Okay, we created a class as optional example and inside the main method we have pre-developed two methods, two functions. The first one is get second word and the other is get letter count. Get second word method finds the second word inside a given text. 
and the other method simply finds the letter count inside this text. Let's say we want to chain these methods and our goal is to find the letter count of the second word in the given sentence. Okay? For this, simply we call the first function get second word and chain it with and then and inside it we pass the second method to chain it and then apply method. Let's try it. In our example, this chain functions will return 6 to us because the second word is Ojakji and it has 6 letters inside it. That's why if I assign this value to an integer and print it out, you will find 6. Let's try it. It is 6. Alright. Now everything seems so smooth, but let's try with another sentence with just one word. In this case, our code thrown a null pointer exception. This is why we use optional class. This is so important because this sentence has only one word and when we split it, the split one item will be null. Because in our function, we simply return the second word, or if second word does not exist, we simply return a null. And this null will be input to get letter count, and this will throw a null pointer exception. Now let's prevent this null pointer exception. We need to use an uh, optional. For this, we may wrap the output of get second word with an optional. Let me show you how we do it. We use a static method of optional. The static methods are of, of, nullable, and empty. Empty creates an optional without any object inside. Of creates an optional and the t value must be a real object instance and cannot be null. If, if you pass a null value inside of, this also will throw a null pointer exception. But if you use of nullable function, uh, the, the given input may be both null or a real object instance. That's why we, we should use of nullable and we will wrap the value of get second word. Okay? And we will pass the input here and this box will return an optional to us optional now let's check how we use these optional my optional dot the first method we may use is present and this method will simply return if an object presents inside or not let's print out it run as Java application. We again got null pointer exception because we are invoking these lines again. Let's comment them out and try again. You see, it is false. So we will replace this null check with this call my optional dot is present. This is simply a null check but much more better way of it. In the background, this simply checks if the value is null or not, but our code is much more clean. Now, how to get the value inside it? My optional dot get. Okay? Since we define our optional for storing a string, it will return a string to us as a value. Okay? Let's print out it. Our value is s. And else, if it is null, we may say no value, and I may remove this. No value. There is no null pointer exception or nothing, and there is no null check, and this is our new clean null check. Okay, let's try with let's try with two words. Run as, and we got our result. Object. Okay, that's cool, but we may use this optional in further processing. 
as you know in functional programming we should not use variables but we should use the functional outputs directly inside a consumer or something that's why we may use the methods of my optional and we may consume the data inside it directly for this we may use both if present method and map method if present method gets an consumer so that it does not output a value but it just consumes the data inside it and we may output the data inside it directly like this system dot out as we do in uh, our traditional way and the difference is that system out in fact is an object that's why we may refer to methods of it by these two columns and we have print ln inside it this will simply print out the value inside my optional optional class let's run it ojakci so we were able to remove the explicit call of system out print ln but we just pass it as a consumer to our optional then what if our optional instance has no value inside it in this case we will use or else and this or else method will return another value this value can be passed into this method and the object you pass as an input to or else method should be the same type as the optional type so it should be string in our case now or else method will return another string to us and we may print it out run a serial application ojak g now let's remove this and try again so the value we supplied here is used inside the system out println now let's chain our functions with optional and we will write these chain options without causing a null pointer exception we may get this call okay after that if present and we will simply print out because we know that if present gets a consumer and uses the value of this function output inside the box and this method unwraps the value inside it if it presents and then consumes with this consumer now let's chain it for chaining we use the other method of optional class and it is map we will talk about this map method later on with streams map simply transforms a given input into a new type okay in our case the input type is an optional and we will map transform this data into something else with the given function so we may pass another function into the map and it transforms the input into a new result which is the type of the other function so let's pass get letter count inside it so map method of optional gets an optional and returns another optional and we may say that if a value presents inside the output of get letter count i mean the other optional just print it out now let's check it you see the result is 6 now let's remove the second word after that let's comment these lines out not to confuse you see there is no output but also there is no null pointer exception because uh, we, get, we get the second word here and it is null and null is wrapped with an optional and the value will be passed to the other function but since it is an optional there is no null pointer exception but also there is no transformation and this will again output an optional with null value inside it since if present does nothing if the wrapped value is null no output has been printed so we have changed the functions with using an optional and in this chapter we have learned is present if present or else and map method of optional class in the next chapter we will talk about streams while using the streams 
uh, optional will make sense to you much better. Okay, see you then.